الله ربنا هو الاله له من الاسماء مصطفى بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم actually many brothers are asking the question um, as you are aware we are living in a non muslim country and here the uh, christmas days are celebrated and the christmas is attributed to the birth of hazrat isa alayhi salatu wassalam jesus christ and sometimes the people they exchange the christmas greeting in happy christmas or merry christmas these kind of sentences they the people used to send to each other and here although the, this country is not a christian dominated country and this area is not uh, a christian the area of christianity but because the british were ruling here and they have fixed some days for the christmas and still we are following and the government of hong kong is following to celebrate these days although the christmas the world christmas or the merry christmas does not tell us about hazrat isa alayhi salatu wassalam the birth of jesus it is the festive it is a day that is celebrated uh, that is expressed with the word christmas some people sometimes they say these words indicate that isa alayhi salatu wassalam is uh, the son of god although it, these words merry christmas or christmas does not show that uh, is isa alayhi salatu wassalam or jesus christ is son of allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or part of god but here if you go back the history of the christmas it reached to the europe and european people at the time when they were not embrace the christianity they used to worship sun and they used to believe uh, sun is god and the stars and the moons they have the power so they used to worship the sun and the sun light was important for them even today you know many european countries where especially in these days in the, uh, the in the winter they have long night and the day is very sharp small so as the winter is going to complete and the other season the spring season is going to start then they start irrigation so the sun light duration is increasing after 22nd or 24th up december so they used to worship sun and they celebrate a day the same in our area in subcontinent we celebrate the mela like in the on the time when we cut the uh, wheat uh, so the similar situation was in the europe as they embraced christianity as a whole and the king announced now we will celebrate the birth of jesus christ so it is the history of the christmas so what they were celebrating they continue celebrate but they changed the name of their festival they changed it to christmas and they believe that this is the birth of jesus christ although as we read the uh, story of the birth of hazrat isa alayhi salatu wassalam and you should know there is two prophet stories of the birth is mentioned in quran kari one is the story of the birth of hazrat isa alayhi salatu wassalam and other is the story of the birth of hazrat musa alayhi salatu wassalam in quran kari so quran kari says when jesus christ was born it was the time when they tam the day uh, khujur tam was there and hazrat maryam alayhi salam was asked as you uh, feel hunger then you take some dates and you eat consume it so it means the dates are always in the summer season although there is no 
specific date and the time is mentioned in Quran Karim. And even because there is no practice and no religious commandment of the celebration of any birthday, that is why it is not mentioned. So, Hazrat Isa Ali Salatu was salam, and some scholars say maybe the these dates, the term Khujur was uh, created by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala as a miracle, as a gift for Hazrat Maryam alayhi salam. So we are no concern either Isa alayhi salatu was salam is born in summer or winter, but here they are celebrating. But now it is not only a religious day, it is now a social day, a cultural day which is celebrated and many people they exchange uh, the greetings happy christmas and new happy new year and, and happy uh, christmas or merry christmas with these words so here there are three options one is if muslim is saying happy christmas or merry christmas to a muslim it is not allowed because we are not uh, uh, to be part of this. For a Muslim, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given two days that you can exchange the greeting and say Mubarak, Eid al Fitr and Eid al Adha. So, here about this Christmas, we cannot say to each other Happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. And the second is non Muslim is saying or sending the message to you. And here we also receive many messages because we are living in a non-Muslim country. So your customers or your colleagues or your staff, they send the message. So how you reply? Although if someone reply with the same, say Christmas or Merry Christmas, so it does not make him non-Muslim or kafir. But the better way is we should reply with the words happy seasons, greeting of the seasons, or happy new year. You can reply in this way instead of saying happy Christmas or Merry Christmas. And this is the way that you can reply. But the third is the Muslim should not send his message of Christmas to any of his friend who is not Muslim. And here, you know, many Chinese, they are not Christian, but they are sending this message, uh, Happy Christmas, because they they celebrate not only as a religious day, they celebrate as a cultural day. So you, if you don't reply, it doesn't look nice. So you can reply in a way uh, like uh, Happy Seasons, God bless you, and uh, be happy, happy new year, because uh, new year is also approaching. So this is the way to deal uh, with this thing. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us understanding. I think you are understand in English, so it is enough, I think. Message TV. This is your channel. This is your channel.